Right, so looking at this, this is question one from our exam. We've got the modulus uh, sign here. Um, so this is in chapter one, I think, of your textbook. Most of us did reasonably well at this. Some of us forgot um, the last step, which we'll, uh, I will uh, show you when we get to it. So the first step is you want to you want to square both sides. Um, and then this side would become 3 squared to x plus 2 squared. Now, if we expand our brackets, we should get 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. And then on this side, we're going to get 9, and I'll do this in two steps, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Uh, one more line... Okay, uh, this is 9x squared. Now, be careful, someone forgot to expand this properly and then had 4x plus 4. Uh, 9 times 4x uh, is 36x, so don't lose marks for silly errors. 9 times positive 4 is positive 36. We'll bring everything across to this side, so I have 5x squared um, plus 40x plus 35. Now, um, I'm going to divide all of that by 5, I think, so I should get x squared plus 8x plus 7. And I might just move that over to this side. Um, 0 is greater than, so this is less than Okay, now I'm just going to quickly sketch my uh, drawing here. Uh, well, perhaps I will factorise it first. Now, if I quickly sketch this, I see that I've got um, a point here at minus 7 and one here at minus 1. And so I should have this here. So the bit that is less than uh, that is less than zero is clearly this bit here. And so I would say for my final step, um, uh, minus seven is less than x is less than minus one. You can see the roots of the equation are uh, minus seven and minus 1. So that would be my final answer and, and a couple of you forgot to go to this step. You just said x equals minus 7 and x equals minus 1 and obviously you're missing your, your final step so you, you lose mark there.